what is the best concrete mix? In order to answer that question, you really need to quantify what you need this concrete for because there's a lot of different ways you could answer that question. What is the best concrete mix? For example, what is the strongest concrete mix? Maybe that's the question you want to, you want to know the answer to. In what ratio do you mix stuff together to get the strongest concrete? And in that case, for example, let's say you wanted to mix sand and cement, just sand and cement, or mortar as that would be called, you would mix it at approximately three parts sand to one part cement, and that would give you the strongest mix according to ratios. But maybe that's not what you're worried about. Maybe you're worried about volume. You want to know what's the best concrete for making a lot of concrete for the least amount of money, in which case something like a three to one mix might be what you're inquiring about, and that would be three parts gravel, two parts sand, one part cement. That will also make something that is very strong, workably strong for things like sidewalks or foundations or all other applications, but it's not going to cost a lot. If you only made mortar with only sand and cement, well it's going to cost you an awful lot more money to make that versus that same mix where you're using sand and cement, but also you've added gravel, a much larger aggregate, something that's got a lot of volume to it. So what you need to consider is that the concrete itself, the cement, the Portland powder, is kind of like a glue. You mix it with water and it makes a slurry, then you put a bunch of things aggregates into that, that mix, that slurry of glue or Portland that you've made, and when the Portland dries, it glues all of those pieces of aggregate together. So in a three to one mix, you've got a lot of gravel. The bulk, physically, of the mix is gravel. Big chunks of gravel, plus a bunch of smaller sand, plus the Portland, gluing it all together. So in order to answer what is the best concrete mix, you need to identify what you're using the concrete for, whether you want the strongest possible concrete that money can buy, or you want the most economical way to fill a large area with concrete. But when you can identify that, then you can more specifically identify which mix would be the best for you. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.